you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about some of my favorite makeup brushes and tell you why I like them and why they are my favorite. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, just go ahead and hit that button down below so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. And let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so starting off with foundation, my favorite thing to use, it's not really a brush, but you see me use it all the time. It is the L'Oreal sponge. I know, it's very dirty, don't look at that. But this is one of my favorite things to use to apply foundation. I will occasionally use brushes, but I always find myself going back to this. I think because especially with me, I love a full coverage foundation. So when using that, I feel like full coverage can sometimes get too cakey on your face and using a damp, like, I want to call it beauty blender, but it's not a beauty blender, but using a damp sponge to kind of absorb some of that while distributing it, I think is the best way to go. And that's why I definitely love this one. And especially, not only is it good for foundation, it's obviously good for concealer. And I love how it goes up into that point right there, which makes it really easy to get underneath that eye and in that inner corner. All right, so moving on to some of my face and powder brushes. The first one I wanna talk about is this e.l.f. blush brush. And I don't use this for blush, but I love to use this to set my whole face with. I love how it goes up into that point, which makes it really nice to get underneath my eye and set my eyes. I just think it's a perfect size to be able to set the rest of my face with. The next brush I want to talk about is the Morphe M438. And I love this brush because it's super skinny and goes into that point. And I love to dip this in some banana powder and put that right underneath my eyes to really brighten my eyes up. And that's why I like that it goes into this point because it really, really gets in there underneath that eye and it gives a flawless finish. So the next thing I want to talk about is this e.l.f. powder blurring brush. And I love this brush when I bake underneath my contour. I like to take this once I'm done and wipe that away. I think it really does what it says. It gives it a nice blurring finish while wiping it away perfectly. I know it's kind of silly just to have a brush that's a favorite for that, but I think this does an amazing job for that. It just gets right under there and wipes it away nice and blurs it perfectly. All right, so the next thing is stippling brushes, and I have two that are my favorite. So the first one is by e.l.f., and it is smaller than my other one, but I love this one because when I contour my cheeks, I like to take this and go in and blend that contour out. I think it does a really nice job blending it. And the other stippling brush that I love is by Crown Brush, and this is a bigger one, and I like this once I have bronzer and blush on just to go in and blend everything together. I think this brush is perfect for that and it does an amazing job. All right, so for, I have to find my other one, found it. So for contour and bronzer, I have two favorite contour ones and the first one is this mermaid brush, which you guys have seen me use. I don't know what's going on with that hair right there, but we fixed it. When my friends got this for my birthday and when I saw this I was like oh that's great for contouring because it goes in to that nice point and you could see how thin it is. So it's just really nice to create that line in there. And the next thing that I love for contouring is I think I got this at Marshalls but it is an oval brush and it is nice and skinny and I love to use this to contour my nose with. For bronzer my ride or die brush for that is the Morphe M523 and you can see it's loved because the writing is rubbing off. I have eyeliner stains on it. But this brush is amazing when it comes to bronzing up my face. And even if you don't contour that day, this brush does a nice job of carving it out because of how it goes in really tight and has the sides. It gives it a nice precise line in there. And then when I'm bronzing, I like to go in circles and I think it does a perfect job to bronze up your face. So for blush, I have one favorite, and it is the e.l.f. Professional Bronzing Brush. But as you can tell, I don't ever use the brushes like they're told. I just find my own ways that I love them. And I love this for blush because it goes in to that nice angle, and I think it just does a good job getting in on my cheek and giving me a nice flush of color. 
Now moving on to my favorite brushes. It is my highlight brushes. And the first one is the Morphe M501. And I love this for highlight because it doesn't pick up too much product. It picks up just the right amount and it goes in to that nice point and it just fits perfectly right there on my cheekbone to give me a nice highlight. All right, and then we have the Morphe M213. And it's a little teeny tiny brush and I love it. Just a nice rounded brush. Sorry, my voice is cracking because I'm sick and it's starting to affect my voice because I'm starting to get the cough. And once I start coughing, I start losing my voice. But it is just that nice rounded brush and it is perfect to get under your brow bone and give you a nice highlight. I also like using this right in the inner corner of my eye. I like using this right in the inner corner of my eye to highlight with as well. It's just so tiny and precise and I just love it. All right, so moving on to eyeliner brushes. I have two favorites, and if you guys watched my video on how to do winged eyeliner, I talked about this brush. I used to get made fun of so much for using this brush, but this is how I learned to do winged eyeliner, and I still use this. This is still my baby. This is a little paintbrush. If any little paintbrush will work, you just go to Michael's and find the little teeny tiny ones. I think this only has like two little hairs in it and it's just perfect for creating that little wing that I love I just dip it in some gel liner and it it does the trick every single time the next one that I love is this elf eyeliner brush and you could tell it goes in to an angle right there and it has the same concept as my paintbrush it is just a thicker brush on the end it definitely has more bristles but I think it does a nice job creating that wing that you want. So for eyebrows, I have one brush and I don't even know what brand it's from. I've had this since I've started makeup and I just, I can't let go of it. I've tried so many other angle brushes and nothing compares to this one, but whatever works for you guys. But I have used this brush for pomades and I like when I fill in my brows with a pencil just to take this and really distribute that product and bring it down. I think it does an amazing job and it's just a nice angled brush. Like I said, it just does the trick for me and I don't even know what brand it is, but I love it and I will never get rid of it. So I didn't know really what category to put this in, so I'm gonna put it in its own little category and this is a concealer brush that I love. I don't even know if it's listed as that on Morphe, but that's what I use it for. And it is the Morphe M326. And it's just this nice little tiny brush. And it goes into that rounded tip as well. And I love using this to clean up underneath that brow and in the middle. And then I also love using this for if I mess up on my wing liner. Just to go in and clean that up with a little bit of concealer. This brush has saved me so many times. And I don't know what I would do without it. Alright you guys. So this is where the fun begins. These are all my eyeshadow brushes and I'm gonna try to explain them as much as I can and in most in-depth as I can and tell you why I love them all right so my first favorite is the Morphe M441 you can tell I love it because I own three and this brush is perfect for the transition shade it has just the perfect amount of fluff the perfect amount of bristles to just really get in there and start that transition shade in your crease before you start any other shadows. I think it does a great job distributing color onto your lid. My second favorite is the Morphe M433 and I love its short density and I think it is great for packing on color on that outer corner. I love to just really pack it on and then I'll go back in with like the Morphe M441 make sure I said that right so I'll go back in with the Morphe M441 and just blend that out but I think this is great for packing on color on that outer corner so the second brush I like to use after doing my transition shade is the Morphe M513 and I like this it goes into a nice point and it is smaller than that M441 you can see that how the M441 is bigger and I like to use this to go in underneath that transition shade and start going darker. So my next favorite is the Morphe M506 and it is so tiny and precise. I loved how short and tapered it is. 
I love this for if I'm going in with a darker collar on the outer V to really darken it up because like I said it's really precise and tiny to really get in there. And then also I love this to smoke out underneath my waterline. My next favorite is the Morphe M432. And I love this brush to get right underneath that bottom lash line and pack on a collar and then take another brush and blend it out. And I also love this for if I have eyeliner on and I really just wanna smudge it out or even if I'm just putting on a black eyeshadow before false lashes, I think this is perfect just to stamp that on the upper lash line as eyeliner. My next favorite is the Sigma Pencil E30. And I love this brush because of how it goes into that point right there. I think it is nice to just really get precise underneath that bottom lash line and really blend out shades or to add shades. My next favorite is this flat definer brush. And any flat definer brush will work. I don't even know where this one's from. It was the same as the same as the eyebrow brush. They both came from the same thing. So I've had these in my collection since I've started makeup and I just don't remember where they came from, but I love this to add a shimmer shade or to pack on any color. My last favorite eyeshadow brush is the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. And I love this brush for if I'm starting out an eye look to just put on a nice cream shade before I go in with my transition shade. All right, you guys, so that is it for my favorite makeup brushes. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and down below, if I didn't mention any of your favorite makeup brushes and you have recommendations, just leave a comment down below because I love trying out new brushes. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.